Hey guys, today we are going to explain uh, Code Force Run 76 uh, Problem E, right? Still, we are going to explain this problem by introducing uh, uh, examples, alright? So, <clears throat> we have the input here. We have uh, three uh, numbers. Uh, the first number says how many numbers are going to be in the first bucket and the second number will be the number of uh, items in the second bucket right one number in the second bucket and the two uh, two demonstrate the number of numbers in the third bucket there are two numbers in the third bucket right so we have three buckets here. Uh, in eventually, we want to uh, the numbers in the first bucket is uh, less than the numbers in the second bucket, and the numbers in the second bucket are less than the numbers in the third bucket, right? So the uh, final answer we are going to return is uh, minimal moves to uh, make it happen, right? For example, for the first example, we only need to move two from the third bucket into the first bucket. So in the first bucket, we have one, two, three, all of them less than four and 4 less than 5, right? So this way we um, get the buckets sorted. And uh, let's look at the example 2, right? The uh, 1, 2, 3 in the first bucket, 4, 5 in the second, 6 in the third. They are already sorted, so we don't need to move anything here. So we return zero, right? For the third example, all we need to do is to move. Um, let me see. We need to move six into the last bucket, right? Uh, hand. Let me see. Okay, we just need to move six into the second bucket and move three into the second bucket as well. So that all the numbers are in the second bucket. Right? So the uh, buckets are still sorted because no number in the first and the third bucket so they are still sorted right so let's see how to solve this problem we solve this problem by using dynamic program right so formula is here f i j denotes uh, considering the first i numbers, fij is the minimal cost of putting i at the j's bucket. Right. So, for example, let's look at the first example. Right. So, <coughs> first we want to calculate if one, one zero, right. So where can we um, put one at? We are going to put it at uh, uh, the first bucket, right? So the cost is zero because uh, one is already in the first bucket. So the cost is zero, right? Here is the moving cost, it's zero. So let's look at uh, F two zero. If we want to put 
two at the first bucket. We need to move, right? Because it's originally in the third bucket. We need to move into the first bucket. So the cost is one, right? And uh, let's see uh, F three zero. Right. We need to. Uh, we don't need to move three because it is uh, already in the first bucket, and we need to um, plus the <coughs> cost of moving two in the. Uh, first bucket right because in or in order to put three in the first bucket we need to uh, make sure that the two is in the first bucket as well so we need to uh, plus the cost of moving two into the first bucket which is one right the value of this is one right so this guy is correlates to this guy, right? So that's the basic idea behind this dynamic program. Let's take another example. If uh, two one right, we want to put two in the second bucket. So first, uh, the two is uh, initially in the third bucket, so we need two plus one, right? And also, we need to make sure that uh, if uh, one is either in the first bucket or in the second bucket, right? So we need to uh, choose the uh, uh, smaller one right because we can choose either of them so of course we need we want to choose the smaller one so let's uh, take a look at their values so if one zero is zero one f one one is one right so of course we choose uh, one at the first bucket because its cost is zero it's better for us right so that's how we calculate uh, all of the uh, values in the programming right so let's look at the code so you erase all of this and uh, look at the code right so for this part uh, is we take three numbers uh, as the nth of each bucket right and then for each bucket we uh, taking the position of the number right this is the number uh, of the input and uh, um, we record this number's position right so if we get a, a 2 at position 1 right so we can uh, query very fast by just uh, uh, query the um, position of that number right and then we initialize the apps values so uh, well let's imagine there is a zero in uh, in the number right so the cost of putting zero at uh, either of the buckets are zero right because we don't actually have an error uh, zero right so then we start to calculate each of the apps right iterate through all of them and uh, so we uh, first decide if the um, 
number is already in that bucket. If it is in that bucket, we don't need to plus one here, right? We just need to choose a smaller, uh, smaller value that uh, uh, we can make sure that we actually can put uh, I at uh, uh, J bucket, right? So if it is uh, not, if I is not in J's bucket, uh, we will add one here, right? Because we need to move it. And also we choose a smaller value of uh, previous ca calculations, right? Uh, uh, as for demonstration, I output the F's value here. So it's not necessary we do it uh, in the programming, right? And in the last, we can um, choose the smallest number where we can put uh, n in the i's position, right? We choose the smallest one and return it as the final answer, right? I guess that's it. Thanks for watching.